Hey guys, and welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'm doing a review on Airborne, who is in the Demolition Derby series. Synthetic rubber tires, not really synthetic rubber tires, but they're sort of rubber. You can pause that and read. If you want to, there are the other cars like McLeish, Swipple Footer, Liability, Jerome Ledge, Michanga, Bill, Superfly. Now, Airborne supposedly supposed to be exclusive to Walmart, or the set is of these cars here. And Airborne, the six cars. But I did find Airborne, Lime McQueen, a Chester Rifle Filter, and a very damaged card of Bill at Marshall's. Um, I didn't buy them, but I think they're only three bucks. They're a pretty good deal, actually. But I didn't buy them. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I guess old stock of Walmart goes to Marshall's. Which isn't surprising. A lot of old exclusive stock ends up in stores like Marshall's and Myers and Kohl's. But yeah. Um, yeah, so maybe if you still need these, go check your uh, Marshalls. Maybe they'll uh, be there. So, yeah, let's get Airborne here out of the box. He's probably my one of my least favorite Demo Derby competitors, if not my least favorite. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I probably found a new least favorite Demo Derby competitor. And let's get him out of the package. This was back in the good old days when there wasn't any tape. On the cars. There we go. Here's Airborne. He does come, of course, with the like an exclusive accessory. This is a sign. So here's Airborne. The tires are like they're sort of rubber, but they're they're not very really rubber. And here is Wild Bill. Wild Bill's racing cones. One stop cone shop. First cone free. Um, sounds like a scam, but okay. And here is Airborne. He's very similar to a couple of Dumbo Derby competitors, especially another one who was released in this wave, I guess. So uh, we'll take a look at him on um, others later. Now, his front is really bright, the yellow. And you can't really see his mouth. But there it is. There's the his mouth. All yellow. And then when you get up here, there's like some white mixed in with some dirt and a very damaged hood. There you can see how damaged it is. And then that kind of fades to green up here which kind of fades to blue, which stays blue. So he doesn't have much green, but he does have a little bit of green. Yet yeah, here, he's got white, he's got yellow, blue, blue, yellow. So he's got yellow and blue rims with some, like, white design around it. He's got some yellow all rusted up, dented up, all beat up, of course, and he gets over to the green. Here has the 90 spray painted in red inside, like, a, outlined in, like, yellow. Of course, this is all beat up down here. And then you've got some stripes, like some racing stripes maybe. You can see like the paint splatter right there where he painted the zero in. And you have some green on this tire. don't know if that's in there. No, I don't think that's in there. I think that's supposed to be there. And he does have like regular tires in the front. And I guess you can see how the rubber there, they've kind of come off. But they're not rubber like, um, like one of the Piston Cup rubber tire releases back in 2010 fix that later but uh yeah he's got like the dirt tires in the back regular tires in the front and then nothing on the back here see this is like what i don't like really like about him is that he's kind of boring he has a little song like tailgate has bring the pain and even though jambalaya doesn't have anything he has jambalaya and chimichanga printed but at least he's uh, has a cool design of like like polka dots so um yeah, he doesn't have anything, no slogan, just blue, and it actually looks pretty new up here. Like, the blue paint looks pretty clean. He does have a bit of scratches and dents, but other than that, it doesn't look like old paint. So maybe this used to be something, and he decided to repaint it. I'm not sure. And you can see the 90 is different on this side, because it's he painted it, of course, so he's not going to paint it perfectly all the time, or paint it the same, so it's different. And you can see just more dents and scratches along. So, pretty cool, but my, probably my least favorite Demo Derby competitor. Uh, let's compare him now to the cars I think are his model. Here's the car I was talking about is really similar to him. Jambalaya Chimichanga. Um, not the same model, not that I look at them up close, but very close. Very, very close to having the same model. Let's 
compare him here to Tailgate, who's pretty similar to Jambalaya, if you ask me. So, kind of similar, kind of not. We have Superfly, another one who's in this a set of cars, I guess. Pretty similar. Again, these are all very similar. I mean, he does have the spoiler. There's Pushover. It's being like a tiger spirit for the uh, this oh that paint this of that paint boutique totaled and private. Oh, also, that's another thing. Some of these cars have sponsors. Like Tailgate here has the Greasy Grill Barbecue. Uh, Superfly is sponsored by anything. A uh, fishtail is actually sponsored by Wild Bill's Racing Cone, so he probably has a pretty good sponsor if, if his sponsor is actually able to advertise like this. But uh, Airborne has nothing written on him. Some like Bill doesn't have anything written on him, but like how can you not like Bill? He's like a Luxo ball. He's awesome. So yeah, uh, Airborne is probably my least favorite. Like Broadside, if you flip him over, it says flip me over on the back. So um, Broadside's pretty cool. I know some people don't like him. I actually think he's pretty cool. Um, but Airborne definitely has to be my least favorite. So there's Fishtail, and that's that. That's um, all I have to compare today. Let's give Airborne a ride on the turntable, and I'll put up some pictures of where he appeared in the movie. Definitely didn't appear prompt. So I think uh, the only car that was released in this set, not counting Light and Queen, that appeared kind of prompt in the movie, I think was Bill. Jambalaya I didn't even know was a character in the Dumbo Derby till I looked it up when he when he got released and I looked around him or looked up pictures of him. I found him. Uh, liability wasn't clear. I think Superfly was. Superfly was because like you had an onboard shot of him like this as he was flying down. He said, "I'm flying," and he's like, "I'm not flying," and then he crashes and stuff like that. But he was pretty prompt. But Airborne and Bill, these two were pretty prompt. Because he was like, hey, Patty, Bill was. And then uh, Airborne, I don't even know where he appeared in the movie. So uh, we'll, we'll take, I'll try to find him in the Demo Derby scene. And if I do, pictures of where he appeared will go up right there. If I find where he appeared in the movie. And um, so that is that. So with Airborne loose, I now have all the Demo Derby competitors that Mattel has released loose. Um, of course, they haven't released their game yet, so I don't have them. But uh, yeah, let's get them all in one shot. So here they all are. I did put Rainbow Queen and Cruise in here because I just wanted to put like the other Demo Derby cars in there, I guess. That is a Dirty Todd, the Cars 1 Todd, but I think he looks better as a dirty, like a dirty Todd, because like he's in the Demolition Derby, he should not be clean, so I think he looks better that way with the Demolition Derby. My favorites, Bill here, uh, T-Bone over there, I like Sigler and APB and Hit and Run over there, I do like Pile Up as well, of course I'm not counting the three RV, Dr. Damage and uh, Miss Fritter. My least favorites, Airborne, and that's really it. I don't like Broadside, I guess. But I do really like Broadside more than... I like Broadside probably more than other people. Because a lot of people think he's bored. I think it's cool how he painted his mustache on there. And, like, he's really the only car of this model. Like, And it says flip me over when it's flipped over. I think he's the only... He's really the only car of his model that's a pickup truck that's not damaged, like, Jimbo or Talk over there. And you have a lot of, like, uh, high-impact... Bill, all close to the same model. These three are close to the same model. So, yeah, Airborne's probably my only really car I don't like in the Demolition Derby. But, um, yeah, so that is it, guys. Thanks for watching here, guys. Let me know what's your favorite and least favorite, not counting Miss Ritter, Dr. Damage, and Arby, because I know a lot of people say Miss Ritter. So I just want to know, not counting Dr. Damage, Miss Ritter, and Arby, who's your favorite and least favorite uh, Demolition Derby car. And I will see you all next time, guys. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share the video. And I will see you all next time.
Bye-bye.